It seems the pursuit of beauty through a needle was simply irresistible. The most popular cosmetic procedure is still injections in the face. But these days, they're not using anything as crude as paraffin wax, no. They're using instead a neurotoxin, which is derived from a particularly unpleasant form of food poisoning bacteria, Clostridium botulinum, more commonly known as Botox. Clostridium botulinum, from which the brand name Botox is derived, is one of the most poisonous substances known. If evenly dispersed and inhaled, a single gram would kill more than a million people. In the 1960s, a milder version, the so-called type A toxin, was first used to treat people with facial tics. A cosmetic wonder drug had been born, albeit by accident. And I'm about to try it. Dr. Ross Perry is going to make me a member of the Botox generation. Really, we're just injecting points. Of the In its natural, deadly form, Clostridium botulinum kills by paralysing the muscles of the heart and lungs. And causing paralysis is exactly what the milder type A toxin should do. Though hopefully it will only affect the small muscles in my face. Good, so the ones around the eyes are a little bit, a little bit sharper. OK. OK. I'd love a little bit sharper. It's a euphemism, isn't it? Um, we, can, we do normally give some anaesthetic Ooh. cream for this sort of area. Um, well, I'm a big, strong boy trying not to scream. Exactly. And... Actually, my main worry at this moment is if he overdoes it, then my eyes could get really droopy. Fractures, as it were. And that's it. It wasn't painful, was it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, that was interesting. Slightly more painful than I was expecting. My skin is feeling a little bit sort of nibbled. But if the results are spectacular, then maybe it'll be worth it. A couple of weeks later, and I'm about to find out. Well, my forehead is definitely much smoother. As for the fine wrinkles around my eyes, well, they've gone too. Sort of. So from that point of view, Botox definitely does what it says on the tin. I asked my wife what she thought, and she said, I look different, but I don't necessarily look any better. None of my friends, until I point out to them, have actually commented on my new enhanced look. So all in all, a really interesting experiment, but not one I think I'm going to repeat.